couldn't we feed more people with fewer resources on less land? That's fundamentally the question we're answering. And that's really where Barefly comes to help. We want to help make the existing labor force even more productive. Um, do more with what you have, far more with less. That's really what we're about. The mission of the company is to increase global food production and reduce the cost of growing through, through machine automation. That's what we do. We add um, all the sensors. So we use things like 3D cameras and um, LIDARs, which are used on um, self-driving cars and trucks and radars, um, also just traditional um, vision cameras. And we put those on the machine um, and we connect it to computers, um, which then control the machine itself. But then even furthermore, in addition to this sort of 360 degree view we have of the field and everything around it, we're also watching what's going on behind the machine. So we're measuring the job efficacy, looking and seeing how is this job being done? Do have I um, have I clogged up the disk? Have I overheated a bearing or or anything like that? Our, our machines are capable of sensing those and then alerting you know a real human with a human brain. Hey, something's up. You need to come out and take a look. When you think about what you can do if everyone on your farm um, is three or four or ten times more productive, um, it's outrageous. Things like um, we can we can think about taking trips to the field every single day. Um, we can. Uh, monitor crops on a by crop basis. Um, these are things that are constrained, inherently constrained um, by labor and technology today that Verified is unlocking and enabling. As we look out 5, 10, 15 years, what additional value does Verified provide? And really, it's around the data that we're collecting, right? So not only are we be able to you know, see things through traditional cameras, but we also have these you know, thermal cameras we're working with. We have um, LIDARs and radars. We can really characterize how crops are grown and then use that, use that information to grow crops more efficiently down the road. Um, we can increase the yields in ways that aren't possible today because of these insights we have. How can we feed more people with fewer resources on less land? That's fundamentally the question we're answering.